Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we'll be talking about IB Chapter 1 Math Studies and specifically about number sets. That's basically the letters that we use to define various sets of numbers. There are actually four specific letters that you will see in your book in Chapter 1 and they are letter N which stands for natural numbers and I'll explain to you what they are in a second. Letter Z, which stands for integers, and I'll also explain this to you in a second. Letter Q, which stands for rational numbers. And finally, letter R, which stands for real numbers. And these are the four most essential number sets that you'll find in IB. Now, there are some uh, modifications to each of these. So, for example, sometimes uh, you'll see N with a little asterisk right here. And this is something we call counting numbers. This is actually also in your book. Sometimes you'll see Z as Z plus or Z minus, and that's uh, positive integers and negative integers. And you'll also see Q prime, which is the irrational numbers. So let's start with the first uh, number set, and that's N natural numbers. And that's essentially everything from 0 to 1, 2, 3, and so on, but only the whole numbers. And as you can see, not the negative numbers. So natural numbers are essentially this. This is natural numbers. Now, IB book also provides another natural number with a little asterisk, and these are called counting numbers, and this is really easy to remember. It's essentially everything that you, you have here except for zero. Zero is not included in this. So it's the same thing except for zero. And this one is quite easy to remember because, because natural has N as the first letter. So N is natural. And the next number set is called Z, or Z as we say in Canada, and this would be integers. And essentially it's everything that we had in natural numbers, but this time with negatives as well. So everything from, let's just say, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And this is also to infinity. So essentially it's all of the whole numbers, but including the negative numbers. Now the IB book also has something called Z+, plus, which is essentially only the positive integers. And it's actually the same as the counting numbers. So essentially it's everything from uh, 1 to 2, 3, and so on. Everything excluding 0 and the uh, negative integers. However, Z- minus is only the negative integers. So it's things like minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. The next uh, number set is Q or rational numbers. Rational numbers. And the key point here is this ratio. And that's essentially a ratio of two integers. Uh, usually they're portrayed as P and Q, P over Q, where Q, this is really, really important, Q cannot be zero because you cannot divide by zero. So P over Q with P and Q both being integers. And essentially it's things like 4 over 7 or 9 over 1. Uh, so that would be rational numbers. And then we also have R, which is basically real numbers. And that's all of the numbers together. Uh, and the reason why we have this is because in math there's also something called um imaginary numbers and that's usually portrayed as little i an imaginary number is a number that's not real for example square root of minus one now this is important for really advanced math in university uh, not used as much in ib but you'll actually hear about these in some of the projects but so yes imaginary number it's something that doesn't actually exist and by definition an imaginary number is this it's i square equals to minus 1, which is essentially the same as this. And these are the imaginary numbers. Now we're only concerning ourselves with the real numbers, which is R. If we draw a line, or something that looks like a line, essentially it's everything from minus infinity to infinity. Now, which interestingly also includes the Q prime, which is the irrational numbers. And these are the super, super cool numbers that are essentially uh, things like pi or e or square root of two 
which are numbers that are non-repeating and never ending. So these are like infinite numbers that never repeat, never end. So uh, you all know about pi being super, super long, 3.1459, and it just keeps going and going and never repeats. There's no pattern to it. Um, and that will be an irrational number. All right, so let's make a very visual representation of what each of the number sets is. So let's start with the imaginary numbers. So here we have our imaginary numbers, and that's things like square root of minus one, which uh, if you enter in your calculator, it will actually tell you that it's not a real number. So these are imaginary numbers, and I'm gonna leave them right here in a small little spot because they're not as crucial for us, and the rest will actually be the real number. So all of this is big R, these are the real numbers. And this is everything from minus infinity to infinity. So these are the real numbers right here. And then inside the real numbers, we have rational numbers, which is big Q, and irrational numbers, which is Q prime. And irrational numbers are things like, uh, things like pi, e, or square root of two, or actually a really awesome number represented by sigma, which is also known as golden ratio. It's something that you should Google up. Google up golden ratio. You'll find out some really awesome things about it that it's a number that's used in nature, in art, in beauty, and it's a pretty awesome number in general. And the rational numbers are represented by two integers. And so our rational numbers can also be further divided into integers, which are represented by z. So these are integers. And then the integers actually contain all of the natural numbers. So natural numbers are also part of the integers. So let me draw some arrows just to make it a little bit more clear. Uh, and so what you see here is that there's actually a pattern here. So it's N, Z, Q, R. And I always had trouble remembering these. It's kind of hard to try to memorize them. But then I kind of came up with a mnemonic that helps me remember the order that it's first it's natural numbers and then uh, in integers and rational and then real numbers which can also actually be rewritten in uh, in the set format that I've taught you in a previous lesson, and it can be also shown as n is a subset of z, which is a subset of q, which is a subset of r. So in order to remember this nzqr, I kind of came up with a funny mnemonic that really helps me remember it, and it's naked zombie questing robot. So imagine this naked zombie robot and it's going in on a quest and that will help you kind of remember this and ZQR. So naked zombie questing robot and ZQR and that's really the order uh, of number sets that you should try to memorize. But also don't forget there's a, there are also irrational numbers and the uh, not so important IB imaginary numbers. And that's basically the nutshell of number sets from chapter one in math studies. All right, thank you for watching and see you later. Good luck, bye bye.